So hello everyone, I'm Shreyana. Welcome you back in this machine learning tutorial series. So in this video, I'm continuing the previous video that is uh, our previous work only. That is we are, we were working on um, like splitting the data sets with the help of different library and different functions like uh, CA tools and the sample split. So in this video, I'm going to do it practically. So you need to follow it parallelly because it will be much more easier for uh, for you as well to do it parallelly because otherwise you you will have to see it uh, again and again. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to write sample split. It basically actually like if I try to find the uh, like the definition of this sample split as you can see uh, if it like uh, again I am writing it writing here that is sample split as you can see a sample a sample is split has two parameters and uh, it is basically split the data sets into a particular ratio and uh, split data from the vector y into two sets in the predefined ratio while preserving relative ratio of different labels in y that is it divides the data sets into two ratios depending not uh, changing their uh, relevant uh, relate, relative ratio in the actual table or in the in the resultant table as well and it is basically used to split the data that is used during the classification into train and trace subsets as i have already discussed about uh, train and test test subsets and sets so it will be useful that is sample uh, split will be used here only that is in the in in case of classification into train set and test sets so now i am uh, clicking here so uh, the we have to pass uh, uh, two arguments right so the first one is that our data set that we are working on or uh, according to which we are dividing or splitting the uh, splitting on which we are splitting uh, in, uh, it into train sets and test sets so the data data set that we have is diamond and uh, our independent variable is price and uh, second thing is split ratio split ratio basically split the up uh, 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 data sets into two parts okay and uh, split ratio is all about that only like if you are supposed to uh, split the particular uh, data like of 100 uh, 100 uh, data sets then if you choose the split ratio of 0 0.56 okay then in that case 56 content of the that data set will be marked as true and that 44 percent will be marked as false so the split ratio uh, whatever the percentage or the ratio that you write will be treated as the true and whatever the uh, ratio that will be left from the total one will be treated as the false one okay so split ratio for this i am taking as as 67 okay and uh, and now i am storing it somewhere like uh, split underscore like uh, taking the example as k i have uh, tried to visualize the different commands uh, here also so that if you if you're not able to get anything at any point you can visualize from uh, like here also like from the these these ones uh, you can understand it what i am going to do okay so they i am storing the split uh, uh, data sets into split k and uh, it will take time to store it is now stored and uh, i will try to view it okay so split okay if we try to view it uh, as you can see we have the split k and the total uh, the total label that uh, that that are applied on is uh, total entries of 53940 and the first that is first that is uh, if we if we see the ideal one that is this one uh, this content is treated as here 
uh, if we are working actually, actually on split k it is treated as false and the second uh, second data set is treated as true so now again uh, if we try to like uh, if, as we have uh, saw uh, split k data as well so now i will try to view the table of like how the table of split k looks like so split k as you can see uh, the total the table uh, contains num number of false entries are 17178 and true entries is 36762 now uh, i am going to work with like now i am going to divide these sets like uh, the train set will contain all the true values and test sets contain all the false value right so with the help of subset function subset function will actually sub find uh, extract the subset from the sample script only that is sp uh, split k data uh, data sets only and the data data sets that we are working on is diamond and the split is equal to true so we are now train one okay so it is now loaded there and subset diamond split k it is equal to false and i am going to load it at the test okay so uh I, now our data set that is split k is now actually have the subset train and test sets okay now i am going to view the number of rows that are there in the train set and test sets with the help of n row writing here train we can see that in the in the original data sets also we have true value as 36762 and in the train set as well we have the same number of rows that is 36768 now we can see for this set also it is also matching with our original data set that is a split k so in this video we saw the that how we can uh, how we can generate test sets and uh, train set with the help of sample split commands and we saw the different uh, um, like number of rows that are there in the train set and test sets now in the next video we are going to work on this train set and test sets to 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 like test our model or train our model uh, so that's all hope you liked it and you enjoyed it stay blessed